Well, it was a wonderful discussion. There wasn't complete unanimity of strategic perspective. Brzezinski had his own view, which he stated about, um, about Ukraine not joining NATO, and Nagorski felt that was a mistake to raise that point right now. But I think what everybody was agreed upon and what was really important was the, I, the notion that Jan represented a complex position of tactical realism and strategic vision and never giving up the fundamental objective, which is ultimately freedom. Uh, Brzezinski called Jan an authentic voice of freedom. And Jan was an activist. Uh, he was committed, he knew how to mobilize people, he knew how to mobilize political constituencies, but always for a critical end. In the, in the, when we were working with Jan, obviously it was democracy for Poland, and then it was Pol the enlargement of NATO. And as I said, you know, when Jan, near his death, got, went to Wroclaw and created this uh, uh, collegium in Wroclaw, uh, he saw Wroclaw as a strategic outpost for bringing the peoples of the region together. And I think that's critically important, and that's the most important thing today, that the Ukrainians have to know they're not alone. It was another very important thing, I think, that was said by Ambassador Dan Fried, which was that Ukraine at least has the advantage of the Polish model, that when Poland had to make the transition from communism, to what? To democracy. Nobody knew how to do it. Nobody knew that it could be done. It was never done before, but now Poland has shown that it can be done. And that's important for Ukraine. Ukraine needs a lot more. Um, obviously, they need to deal with their own problems of corruption and um, reform. Um, and I think they're beginning to do that. They've just had an important election. I think they can do that, and they need as I think Brzezinski correctly said, they need defensive military help from the United States and from the West. Um, and I think if Ukraine can succeed in becoming not only a stable democracy, but a secure democracy, and Russia can be basically defeated in its objectives in Ukraine, I think that'll change the whole region. I really do. I think it'll stabilize the whole region. I think. What you had this morning was you had people who share that kind of common vision come together for a good discussion, and I think Jan would have loved it.